This is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. You know, with that electronic eye patch, you sure look familiar. You wouldn't be related to Mechamorphix, would you? Also, what do you want with I, the Duke? Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? Sorry, Meatface, but the Duke is too cool to become among the mutant race. Also, are you sure you are not related to Mechamorphix? After you tell me where your vault is... Sure, the coordinates are E3L9, also known as Stadium, where I played a fun game with another one-eyed freak from out of this world. Condition? How delightful. My condition is that we play a game of football one-on-one -on -one in L.A. Go ahead, amuse me with your... Condition. I have a riddle for you. If I symmetrically drop two fingers on both sides of my hand, then what finger would I be holding up? What a splendid sense of humor. Pity I don't have one. So, the location of your vault, if you please. The location is known as GFY, which is short for Go Tar Yourself. Why, certainly, my dear human. I'm curious just to see what you'll ask. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? My dear human, this is the great procreator. Here, we'll make others of the master race and ensure the unity. It's all quite glorious, I assure you. You might be meeting Morphix up in the sky in the not-so-distant future. Presently, there is a slight problem in the reproductive process. It's being attended to. No, it's quite simple. The world doesn't currently have babes that would like you inside or out. For now, we must use the vats to turn humans into super mutants. You'll experience that glory yourself momentarily. Making more mutants with a virus is for losers who have no balls. How could I possibly refuse a request phrased like that? We all work for the Master, to uphold the glory of the Unity. He was the first, you see. The first of a group of short-sighted morons just like Proton, the Battle Lord, the Overlord, the Cycloid Emperor, and the Big Queen, B percent. The unity is our goal. It is quite simple, really. Certainly, even you have noticed the steady downhill slide of civilization. The Super Mutant is the next advancement in human evolution. To save the world, we will convert all the worthy individuals. Simple, efficient, glorious. You know there was a historical asshole before the Great War in another Great War. He had a mustache and got rejected from being an artist. Then he figured he could make the perfect race. Go learn some more pre-war history, because he got himself trapped in a bunker where he ended his story. I can see your master ending up with a similar fate, and I'm willing to bet he lives as a big fat blob in a bunker himself. Your human mind is rather under-equipped to handle this, so a simple yes will suffice for now. Soon, everyone in the world will be converted, and peace will reign. No war, and no... Sounds pretty high and idealistic, in other words, bullshit. Sickness. All super mutants are bound by the unity. We are the hope for the world. Well, don't be shocked when your perfect world comes crashing down. Intuitively obvious to the most casual observer. We are highly intelligent and immune to disease. The strong survive. It is our goal to improve the human race. Ah, the wonders of technology. Before the war, the human scientists made a drug called FEV. It was designed to make the perfect human. Better. 
more than human. I too was once human. Like you, I was a slug wallowing in the mud before being exposed to FEV and undergoing my glorious transformation. You know, Mechamorphics prided himself on putting humans and animals in green mutagenic slime. Are you sure you aren't Morphics? Exactly. Now you see. Certainly, we have all the time in the world. Trust me. I'm going to have all the time in the world to kick your ass. Haven't you figured it out yet? You're a prime normal. Soon you'll be one of us. The FEV was mutated by the war radiation. Those living in this desolate wasteland have been exposed to this mutant FEV essentially inoculating them from the full effects. So, you're from a vault and have limited exposure to this mutated virus. The original FEV in the vats should work quite well on you. Or how about I say no to a mechamorphics wannabe? We have done extensive experiments on humans to reach this conclusion. My master has been searching for unopened vaults to prove his theories. And now, you've come along. How thoughtful of you. Go ahead, ask your questions. We are in no hurry. We all work for the master, to uphold the glory of the unity. He was the first, you see. Fate. Luck of the draw. I was the strongest of my batch to be dipped in the virus, and I have always supported the ideals of the Unity and the Master, for he is right. And for my devotion, I have been rewarded. He was our guide to the life-giving virus, and he is father to us all. And he so wants to meet you. I hope you're honored. He's busy with the children of the cathedral. Some things never change, and honestly, you mutants haven't learned a thing. The world will be better without your master and mutants living on their own. They actually consider us gods. But then, who can blame them? Of course not. We are simply the future. Go ahead, ask your questions. We are in no hurry. The Master is father to us all. The unity is the goal of all super mutants. Through the FEV virus, we will bring all of humanity together in peace. The FEV virus was discovered by the Master many years ago. It is what makes us the Chosen Ones. But you will soon learn that, I assure you. The vats are where the FEV is stored, and where you normals become one of us. Of course, some die horrible, excruciatingly painful deaths, but... Well, those are the breaks. Morpheus, it's quite amusing. He thinks he's so much more than just a slug the Master recruited to head his children of the Cathedral nonsense. Oh well, he too will be dipped in the vats, and he'll probably die a horrible death. I hope. Nothing but a device to further our plans. No matter, all humans will be chosen. Or dead. Now you're finally showing your true colors. I have to say I'm disappointed about how long-winded you have been. Going? I believe... Let me check. Why, yes. I almost laughed. How wonderfully humorous. The only place you're going is the vat. But first, 
you'll tell me where your vault is. I came here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and with all your monologues I ran out of gum. Time to meet your maker, Mutie. So what shall it be? Do you join the Unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. Your voice sounds so indecisive. Do you have a split personality? You have no idea what you're going to have revealed to you, Immobile Blob. But I can respect your needs. The unity will bring about the master race. Master. Master! One able to survive, or even thrive, in the wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. We need one race. 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 One goal. 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 One people to move forward to our destiny. Unfortunately, your people don't live forever and will run out of meat for more mutants. Destiny. Of course. Mutants are best equipped to deal with the world today. Who else? The ghouls? Please. Normals. They brought nuclear death to us all. This will be the age of mutants. mutants. I beg to differ, Meatbag. Resist! Yes. And all those that are required for the Unity. As well. The remainder will be allowed to live out their days, but under Unity. Control. And protection. But none shall breed, for they will be the last of their race. I'm afraid there's a big problem with your master plan. And what is that? I'm afraid your mutants are sterile and lacking in substance. Perhaps it didn't in the old days, but now it does. The FEV2 virus doesn't destroy the reproductive organs of those it mutates. Perhaps it didn't in the old days, but now it does. Do you have proof? Damn right I have proof from the top researchers of the Brotherhood of Steel and followers of the Apocalypse. So take the research documents and read for yourself. Unfortunately, it's the truth. It's an easy trap to fall into denial when you've sunk so much cost into a particular narrative. But it cannot be. This would mean that all my work has been for nothing. Everything that I've tried to... A failure! It can't be. Just like Dr. Proton and Mechamorphix, you could have dedicated all your intellect to something more productive and helpful to humanity. And while you may be a powerful psychic, I have the willpower to kick ass, which more than matches your mind. I don't think that I can continue, continue? to have done the things I have done in the name of progress and healing. It was madness. I can see that now. Madness. Madness. There is no hope. There will always be hope. And as a final farewell, adios amigo. Leave now. Leave. While you still have hope. And so I left the big banging destruction of the mutant cathedral inspired by Planet of the Apes triumphant, or so I realized that someone else needed a lesson in ass-kicking later. Actually, Frankie, I've met plenty of freaks the whole world over and beyond in outer space, but at least you, Frankie, have the dignity to not show your hideous face. Me, Frank Horrigan. That's who. United States Secret Service. You aren't going anywhere from here. <laughs>
I doubt it, Frankie. Making our reactor meltdown means that things are going to be pretty hot in here soon. Pity you won't live long enough to see it. You're not a hero. You're just a walking corpse. On the contrary, I am Duke Nukem, and I'm here to give you a lesson in ass-kicking, along with setting a new record for the wasteland. Actually, yes, I have, because you failed to outduke the Duke. You and your muted bastard friends are gonna join me in a big old mushroom cloud send off. Actually, I'm going to be using you to score a field goal. I just triggered the self destruct. <laughs> the work will go on. You didn't do nothing here except seal your own death warrants. Duty. Honor. Courage. And I score the extra point. And so classic Fallout concluded with I, the Duke, returning to my people in post-nuclear California, enjoying a nice time in Arroyo with plenty of good food, rest, and babes. Just like I say in triumph, hail to the King Baby. Hello, I am Duke Nukem, and I want to recommend, if you like this video by Chaos Nova, to like the video, and if you want to follow for more entertainment, humor, and even technology tips, to subscribe to the channel, and remain updated on Chaos Nova's new and upcoming content. In the meantime, I'm going to be enjoying a long, overdue vacation.